Hi, I'm Rachel here with my cat Leia and this is my April book haul. Okay, so I'm basically co-opting this phrase to show some books that I did not buy this month, but they're all signed and I've read all but one of them. I'll link my written reviews down below. Last night I went to a rescheduled event for the DC Jewish Literary Festival and I had a great time. The author of this memoir, A Land Twice Promised, based a book off of her storytelling performance that she's been doing for 14 years. So she both read and performed for us, and it really enraptured the audience. This book is about her friendship with a Palestinian woman whom she, an Israeli, met in the US. Both women grew up in Jerusalem and ultimately shared their stories about their experiences growing up. I always look forward to reading stories about people, particularly Jews and Arabs, finding peace within conflict. This one particularly intrigues me because of their shared experiences. They were both mothers in the same town in the U.S. That had to break down some barriers. Next, I'll move on to the least favorite of the books that I have signed, The Scent of Pine by Laura Vapniar. I really liked her short story collection, There Are Jews in My House, but I found this novel to be clunky and uninteresting. It's about these middle-aged academics who embark on an affair, and the woman tells her lover about an underwhelming experience that she had at a Soviet summer camp in the 1980s. I think that Vatniar and her other characters found the protagonist to be more alluring than I did. Meh. Next, we have The Middlesteens by Jamie Attenberg. I found it to be an acceptable, if non-memorable, account of a Jewish-American family and, and their psychoses. I actually asked Attenberg to sign this while she was promoting her more recent book, St. Maisie. I know there's some literary fiction booktubers out there who would be aghast at me, but I was more interested in exploring obesity and modern Jewish life than I was in reading her more famous new historical novel. And now, just this year, Attenberg is out with her next novel, All Grown Up, which is getting oodles of love on booktube and elsewhere, and that one's definitely on my TBR. Finally, I have my favorite of these books. It was a favorite overall read of 2015, The Interestings by Meg Wolitzer. This book ultimately propelled me down my Wolitzer backlist reading project. It's about these friends who meet at an artistic camp as teenagers and how their relationships change when some of them make it and others of them don't. It's a multifaceted account of friendship and growing up and making compromises between your dreams and your realities. The characters just popped for me. I loved it. And I'm cheating again because that wasn't actually the final book I'm going to talk about. This next one, Washing the Dead, I didn't get signed at the Jewish Literary Festival, although the author, Michelle Brothman, is local and she's been involved with that event. But I went to see her at the Gaithersburg Brick Festival a few years ago. And also, the Gaithersburg Book Festival is coming up in May, and people in the Maryland and D.C. area should come. It's awesome. Anywho. This book is about mother-daughter relationships in a Jewish religious term Jewish secular family. It involves lost friendships and past hurts and dealing with family members with mental illness. It also delves into the spirituality of a Jewish ritual for the recently deceased, and it's one of those empathetic, complicated looks at a religious community. Thumbs up to this one, too. That's it for me now. I'm sure I'll be back soon with books that I'll actually be acquiring in real time. The U.S. Independent Bookstore Day is tomorrow! <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.